thinking about letting go, becoming a lecturer? No, not a chance. I will do this until the day I retire. Mostly the intention of going into education is mainly a role model follow my parents because my parents were uh, teachers in the primary school and then after being teachers they were promoted to headmaster and they, they have retired being the headmasters of the primary schools. So I had I had very strong role model from my mom and dad. Uh, something like that lah. I looked up to the teachers, to the lecturers, so that is why perhaps that is the, the fire within me that taught me and then uh, encouraged me to go into the education line. So that's where I ended up today, being the lecturer in Taylor's College. Ah, I joined Taylor's College back in 2004. So until today, I would say somewhere around 18 years already. Just with the blink of an eye, wow, so fast, it's 18 years already. And this year, I'm 47. Ooh, the not so old and not so young age anymore. So previously, there were many writing on the whiteboard. So we need to write a lot of formulation. We need to write a lot of uh, financial statements format on the board to illustrate to the students. So those were the days of the slightly old, uh, earlier approach. And as technology uh, comes in, we were able to prepare all our, our teaching slides in PowerPoint form. And then we are able to show uh, YouTube videos. We are able to incorporate games into our online platform, the Taylor's Integrated Moodle Education System, the Times platform. And then that would make it a more interactive and more fun for the students to attempt the activities. Oh yes, definitely. With including uh, more colourful stuff, uh, games, uh, YouTube videos, for illustration purposes, students will definitely be able to engage and to understand better. And I'm, I'm also very thankful to the uh, tailors uh, because of many times we uh, have internal trainings to upgrade the lecturers in terms of the technological advancement so that we can improve our skills and deliver better in the classroom environment. During my personal time, uh, probably I will, I will spend quality time with my kids and my family member, my mom, my wife. And then uh, if got extra timing, uh, I'll be doing some gardening, uh, putting in the soil, putting in plants. I plant a lot of papaya uh, uh, this couple of weeks back. And then the whole bunch of uh, papaya seed pop, sprouted to many mini papaya trees. This top, uh, then I transfer all the papaya tree to my housing area neighborhood. So the whole street got papaya, 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 papaya. Uh, apart from that, I also enjoy uh, watching dramas and also uh, nowadays because I enrolled in further studies. So the new hobby of Garrett would be reading article, reading article, reading articles. We, we, we as academician, we will, we will need to take care of our students. If it is within our, our power or within our area of expertise, we will do our best to, to solve it for them. And then we will guide them, or oh, if you are facing this, then you should do this, you should do this, in order for them to feel at home for the studies and also for them to be able to improve themselves. Uh, well, that, is, that is our main goal, to, to help and to assist our students to, to pass through the program uh, smoothly. We are doing our best, I would say. I still remember this boy. Uh, so previously, he was very weak on his studies. During classes, uh, sometimes got calm, sometimes didn't calm. I uh, personally go and look for the person to inquire or to, to look for what, what seems to be the problem. And then after a few rounds of visiting him uh, uh, outside, 
and then slowly he opened and, and, and told me that, oh, uh, oh, sir, I'm so sorry, currently my family is uh, facing this issue, like this, like this, like this. Uh, so, so from my point of view, I, I can only give him uh, uh, my experience sharing and to encourage him to overcome the situation. So ended up from there, slowly he managed to be stronger and then uh, slowly I guided him also in terms of studies. I gave him extra hours uh, of, of, of teaching. And, and, and during that time also, I even opened the class for, for other students as well. Uh, so so I, I give him extra time, extra coaching, and, and then finally he, he able to, to pass the subject or to pass the module with very good grades. From, from failure condition to, to passing with good grades. So that one, I'm, I'm very proud, very proud of him as well. <laughs> I'm Sigurd, I'm Ridad. Um, thank you so much for teaching me, teaching us. I really love the way you teach us with a cheerful way. So don't stop doing it. And I really got motivated because of you. And thank you so much. Bye bye. Hi, Mr. Garrett. Oh, I'm Shida. Shida. I just want to say thank you for being an awesome lecturer. You have always try your best to make sure we all pass our exam and always be an understanding lecturer. I am grateful to have you as a lecturer. Thank you. Hi, this is for Mr. Garrett. And I want to say thank you for being my mentor for the past six months. You, you're really dedicated in pushing me to strive. And you always wanted the best for me. And I'm very thankful for having you as my mentor and being by my side. Very touched and happy. Always a lecturer's uh, 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 a dream and aspiration is that the students are able to do well and they are able to excel. That's, that's always my, my main aim and my aspiration for them. As long as they can do well, I am happy. As an educator, my greatest fulfillment would be to see the student able to pass with flying colours and they are able to venture into their later stage after their study days and to excel in their area of profession and their area of interest. That, that makes me most happy. I definitely, of course, felt sometimes that it's really, really down. So thinking about letting go, becoming a lecturer, no, not a chance. I will do this until the day I retire. My name is Garrett Kwong. I'm right now attached to a School of Professional Studies under Taylor's College. I'm currently teaching ACCA Business and Technology paper as well as the ACCA FIA Foundation in Accountancy.